We are reading from chapter 3, Electric Age. We are carbon-based beings living in the carbon cycle here on Earth. Our bodies are good conductors of energy, good conductors of copper, aluminum, platinum, gold, silver, water, and animals. Nature can be used to conduct energy also. Crystals, wood, and just about anything from nature can be used as a tool. To conduct energies, the materials actually does it on its own, but slowly with some force. A person must focus and channel the energy via thought. Thoughts are energy, intent. The mind can consecrate, consecrate the object to raise the vibration or conductivity of electron flow. Energy has three properties. One, sound. Two, light. Three, frequency. When conducted through an object, those properties can be altered even slightly. We deal with different these different properties constantly in our daily lives. This is the core region of spirituality, conducting and balancing energy throughout body for health. We'll get deeper into this later. Changes in energy come in six forms, mechanical, thermal, electromagnetic, chemical, electrical, <laughs> electrical and nuclear. And this is energy all around us. The first law of thermodynamics tells us energy can neither be created or destroyed. It simply goes from one form to another. Energy, for all of our physical activity, comes from the conversion of high energy phosphates to lower energy phosphates. The cells of the body ultimately the cells of the body ultimately need this energy process to function. It is called ATP resynthesis. Human photosynthesis is taking part and utilizing what the body naturally does in its functions. The cleaner the human body, the higher the energy because the cells can better practice ATP resynthesis. Through meditation and the different Qigongs, which means energy exercises, the practitioner is charging the body just like a cell phone in the energy matrix we live in. Sleep is unconscious meditation and meditation is conscious sleep. We're just conduction energy charging the body and mind. Religion comes from spirituality and ancient spirituality was the technology of that time. An ancient technology was the knowledge of the human being self-sufficient. <laughs> so was the knowledge of the self-sufficient human being. When this knowledge was lost, the humans went into materialism, the illusion of matter. We'll talk more about this later. Modern technology is the materialistic version of how to use the electron. The electron is nothing new. It's all about how it's utilized. The same electron that is powering your house appliances is the same electron powering our heart. Let's move on and get a better understanding of the electric universe around us and how to use it. I feel like Neil deGrasse Tyson in our universe. When you look outside, there is a cosmic rainstorm taking place. This cosmic radiation is constantly bombarding the earth, both day and night. These energies are coming from our local star and all the objects in the sky is influencing the wave after wave of radiation affecting all life on earth. I call these alien energies because of their origination from off planet. There are so many different alien energies raining on the earth. Some 
like the cosmic background radiation is going straight through us. You can't get rid of this process of being affected by the alien energies. It's just the way it is. The next set of energies that affect us are what I call terrestrial energies that come from the waters, the trees, the mountains, etc. The earth has its own frequency that affects us. But the energies are different depending on where a person lives in the geosphere. Nature, however, gives negative ions, and that is good for health. Negative ions come from rivers, lakes, trees. To make a long story short, the atoms in nature being bombarded by the cosmic alien energies has more negative charged ions. So there's more outside than there is inside. All physical matter has protons and electrons. But what makes good conductors of energy is that the electron can flow through the material a lot faster. So the faster objects are better to use for energy usage. And as I said earlier, the human body is carbon, similar to coal, which is carbon, also graphite and a diamond. You have diamonds in you. <laughs> I remember just listening to different motivational speakers. You have greatness in you. You have diamonds in you. Wow. So we're taking it literally now. These are good conductors of energy for electron flow. The electrons behave like waves. The harmonics of the electron can be likened unto music. It's a subatomic particle that has a negative charge and all physical matter has this subatomic particle. So now it should make sense when in metaphysics, spirituality, and different religions around the world talk about transformations of the body and mind. It is all about the electron. The cosmic alien rain and the terrestrial energy we talked about plays an important role in our transformation. And I hope you're following along and understanding. <laughs> we now have the third component, which is our own internal energy. That's the energy inside of us that we are born with. This is actually our real personal signature who makes us well, who we are. The human body radiates at different wavelengths and absorption rates throughout the day and night. These rates of oscillation changes all the time throughout the different seasons and planet alignments. This is called thermal equilibrium. The body does changes because it is part of the big picture of life. So don't let anyone say that you are nothing. Your body is telling a much different story. Back to the internal energy. All the organs of the body have a frequency. And we are constantly transmitting this frequency from our body system, affecting the environment and other organisms. It's kind of like how I remember people talking about the heart and the frequency of the heart, this toroidal field, this toroidal energy that just is constantly around us. And we enter someone else's toroidal field and we can feel that heart connection. It's fascinating. In Chinese medicine, there's some school of thoughts that says this is before heaven chi, the energy you were born with that you inherited from your family line. We explained earlier, this was predetermined manifest destiny. The way you look, how your body functions, that's your energy to deal with, whether you think it's good or bad. After heaven chi is how you live your life with the energy given to you. So the energy given with the body we live in. You can cultivate what you have and grow or spend the energy rapidly, like spending money fast until you lose it all. Spiritual cultivation is what we're going to talk about now to merge these three energies together for usage. The cosmic, the earth, and internal energies for health and well-being. This is the science to turn on the lights of our mind and body system 
which is enlightenment. We use many different types of energy each day. Most people are just focused on food, not asking the question, where does energy come from? It must be coming from somewhere or something. How does energetic processes work? We use energy all the time, even right now. Everything we do, we are using chemical energy. The chemical energy comes from external forces or external sources like food, the air we breathe, and also the sun. When we look at something, we are making use of light energy. And in the past, and even today, when we get a cold and need, or when we get cold and need to get warm, we burn firewood. Today, there's other methods that are used for heat and light. We'll go over these things because the same or similar process will work for human photosynthesis. In today's society, there are many energy methods that can be used. The source of all energy being used is provided by Mother Nature. The main energy sources used are coal, oil, and natural gas. These took a very long time to be made by nature and they are finite and very harmful to the environment. Hopefully we can stop using these methods of energy production for the sake of the earth and its many life forms. Other energy sources are the splitting of plutonium to produce nuclear energy. However, the disposal of nuclear waste is difficult. Biomass is a great renewable source like wood, organic waste, hydrogen gas, alcohol fuels. The best for the environment are wind power, hydropower, and solar power. These natural energy sources will be a big part of our future. I even heard about people running, running cars and scooters and different vehicles on water. Like not just solar and electric, but water, literally water. Like what? They've come out with so many inventions. I'm going over all this so the human mind can understand that dealing with energy, there's many different sources at hand, even for the functioning of the body. An energy source by itself will do nothing. For energy to be used, it must undergo a chemical or mechanical process for it to be usable. The human body converts the external energy it receives into chemical energy for usage. Just like the light bulb that lights up in our house, there's a whole process taking place for that electricity to be used in our homes. And the process is similar to our organic bodies. Most electricity in people's homes comes from a thermal plant, which means fossil fuels are mostly used to heat up water to make steam, which powers a turbine to generate electricity. Wow, that's a lot. Magnets spin inside a coil in a generator, creating mechanical energy to electrical energy. As I said earlier, even though most electrical plants or electric plants use fossil fuels for energy, we can use other energy sources. The same for the human being. Instead of eating physical food, the knowledge is now here to use other energy sources for our energy. Our bodies are like generators. And we have the components for energy production. We have the heat inside of use. So the fire is there already for energy production. So we have the heat inside of us, that internal fire, that internal flame, right? To be self-sustained, to be maintained by the internal flame. The water or liquids, like blood and lymph, is there circulating. The liquids are being pumped by the heart and cleaned by the fire inside us. The air we breathe is constantly bringing energy to the body in a rhythm. The air has all these precious elements like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and water. Yes we breathe water. <laughs> the next thing is our awesome skin. 
which is the largest organ we have. It is our first defense that, pro that protects us in this radiated realm. Also, we'll be amazed how much it does dealing with all these viruses and other organisms. So our skin is the earth. Fire, water, air, earth. I feel like the avatar, the last airbender is up in here. All working together to give us a vehicle to experience this realm we are in. We are 98.6 degrees inside when healthy. The way to use our equipment is to allow the heat inside us to rise and it will cleanse the body on its own. The biggest blockages is the colon and what kind of food that has been consumed. So having an energetic diet of fruits and veggies are key to help the process of producing energy in the body. The energy of foods is measured by calories or joules. Heat rises on its own. So in meditation, just sitting, lying down or standing, being relaxed with proper body structure will help. In meditation, the breath will slow down and drop into the abdomen on its own. Just like a campfire needs oxygen to burn, the breath will merge with the heat inside the body. You don't have to rush the process. Just lighten up the diet, allow the breath and the heat to come together and rise in the body. This will expand what we call an aura. The blood is circulating throughout the body carrying the hormones constantly being produced. The heat of the body is mostly in the gonad region. We'll talk more about that soon. This is called the sexual creative force, and it is now being used to heal and energize the body and mind. I've been reading a book along with this that talks about that a lot. It's by Mantak Chia. Mantak Chia. Wow. Super, super fascinating information about sexual energy. The fire, the breath, the water circulation with a good regulated colon is the great work. The skin is first and last in the process. The skin is constantly vibrating with the environment around it. It is like a solar panel to the different wavelengths of light. As you are doing the great work of allowing the body to produce energy, the skin will become clear. Getting outside and walking in nature with high negative ion concentrations will really speed up this process. So that concludes Chapter three, chapter three of Human Photosynthesis 101. <laughs> and we've still just scratched the surface. We have only begun. If you have breath in your body, you have already won. So, so much love, my friend. Thank you for listening. Just some more wisdom of the ages from today's modern sages. This has been Jerome Shaw once again on the Pranic Pages.